what is the nether in real life? And also, what is netherrack in real life? There are two main theories to what the nether shape is. It's either a separate planet or is below the overworld. Both have pretty reasonable explanations. The end is clearly a separate system, so it's not unreasonable to assume that the nether is a separate system or planet as well. But on the other hand, the nether is considered by many to be the underworld of Minecraft. So, which is it? We look at the construction of the nether, we see that the roof and the floor are made of bedrock. That means the nether is encapsulated between these two layers of bedrock. If the nether was indeed a separate planet, then it would be encapsulated in bedrock and it would be impossible to enter. It would just look like a bedrock sphere. And the floor of the overworld and the roof of the nether, which are both bedrock, look like they actually link up, for lore related reasons of course. One of the most well known parts of the nether is that one block in the nether is eight blocks in the overworld. This is great for transportation, as you can travel far distances in a short amount of time in the nether. But does this work with our theory that the overworld and nether are connected in a sphere? Well, yes, it actually does. You see, in this diagram, the overworld has a larger circumference than the circumference of the nether. So if I draw a line from two points inside the nether circle and then extend them out to the overworld, you see how it's gotten significantly larger and how the distance has extended by a certain degree. In this diagram I made, Steve goes into the nether portal and then he's teleported directly down to the nether. He walks a distance in the nether and then goes into another nether portal. Then he's teleported straight up and the distance has increased by 8 times. So that's the nether covered, but what about netherrack? Well, netherrack is a red tinted block that's found primarily in the nether. Well, in my last video, when I figured out what endstone is in real life, I used the material reducer, a feature of the education edition of Minecraft, to break down certain blocks and determine what they are in real life. The material reducer breaks down blocks into their elemental components. And fortunately, netherrack can be broken in the material reducer. This won't give us the immediate answer, but will dramatically help figure out what it is. So if you put netherrack in the material reducer, you get 64 silicon, 18 oxygen, 15 mercury, and 3 of a mysterious element. So whenever you hold mercury in your minecraft world, you're actually holding a substance with mercury in it. And it's kind of alarming how much mercury is actually in netherrack. Netherrack is 15% mercury, so it's actually pretty toxic. So I'm going to try to construct what this netherrack molecule might look like. So judging by what we got from the material reducer, it's about 4 silicon, and 1 oxygen, and 1 mercury. This is my best attempt on making the molecule. But let's try something else. On the Minecraft Gamepedia page, it talks about a molecule called Mercury 2 Oxide, also called Mercuric Oxide or simply Mercury Oxide. Its formula is Mercury plus Oxygen, what's in the material reducer's recipe. And better yet, it has a reddish to orange tinted color. The substance is actually very highly toxic. It can lead to the irritation of the eyes, the skin, and the respiratory tract, and have many effects on the kidneys. So, uh, yeah, and that's found all over the nether. Anyways, mercury 2 oxide is found typically in two forms. It can be found in its pure form, montrodite, or with the addition of sulfur, can be found in cinnabar. So, which is it? Is it montrodite or is it cinnabar? On the one hand, montrodite is extremely rare, while netherrack is extremely common. But on the other hand, cinnabar contains a lot of sulfur, which is not present in the material reducer's recipe. We've narrowed it down to cinnabar and montrodite. 
Let's first compare them by their color. Both are red, so they could be counted as netherrack. Next, let's look at their hardness value. As you know, netherrack is extremely fragile and easy to break. It can even be mined with a wooden pickaxe. I will use Moe's hardness scale. It's one of the most common ways to determine the hardness of a rock. Cinnabar's hardness value is from 2 to 2.5. Meanwhile, Montrodite's hardness value is from 1.5 to 2. So, Montrodite wins barely. Also, one thing to note, Cinnabar has a purplish streak, which basically means when you rub it against something, what color it shows, while also Montrodite has a yellowish streak. What's funny is, while making the original script for this video, I thought it was a certain rock, but after finding this valuable piece of information, I actually changed my mind. I had to rewrite a bunch of the script, but that's okay, because I enjoy making these videos for you guys. Now, let's look at the next decisive information that will determine whether it's Montrodite or a cinnabar. Let's compare where they're formed. Both are found near volcanic or highly active areas of heat, but cinnabar is found near the surface, while Montrodite is found near hydrothermal vents deep in the ocean. Before, my issue was with Montrodite was that it was very rare, while netherite is very common, but actually, this makes a lot of sense, for if it's deep below the earth, it's going to be very hard to find. For example, in Minecraft, if you're in the overworld all the time, it's hard to find netherrack because it's found deep below the earth. I think that netherrack is Montrodite, but Montrodite definitely needs a new name. The actual origins of the word Montrodite comes from the man named Montrode Sharp. I'd like to rename it to Meroxite because it's a lot more catchy. So, netherrack is Meroxite. Meroxite is reddish tinted and found deep below the earth. The materials we get from the material reducer match up almost perfectly. So you can tell your friends that netherrack is Meroxite. But hang on, before you go, there's something peculiar about netherrack. In the older versions of Minecraft, netherrack was originally called Bloodstone. Does that mean it's actually made of blood? Or is it just a nickname, like how Mercury is originally called Liquid Silver because it looks like silver, even though there's no silver actually in it. And I couldn't find what glowstone is in real life, because the elements c that come out of the material reducer don't really match anything in the real world, as far as I know anyways. Leave your theories in the comments down below. Netherrack is Meroxite, and please consider subscribing.